What is going on guys? I'm coming to you on the or in the geo. Um in here for a couple reasons. Firstly, I hope everyone had a good New Year's and happy holidays. I'm gonna try to start posting weekly again. I know I've said that before, but I didn't this time just because of the holidays. But if you haven't noticed, we do have a back for the geo now. Um it is just a half top as you might be able to see through. There's paint all over that. We'll f address that in a minute. We'll look at that. But right now I'm actually at work on lunch but I want to advance the timing on it, and there's a couple of screws we want to try to put in here. So let's go ahead and get her started up here. Okay, well, while we wait for that to drop, let's go ahead and look at, sorry, getting my screws and stuff, nuts and bolts. Let's go ahead and look at the top. Okay, so here's the top. It's all wood with the fiberglass on here. I do need to go over that and fix that. But it's pretty simple. I did just pull out a zip tie and found out I misscrewed the hole. And so now it'll just shake like that. That side's the only thing holding it in. And there's not a top dr hole drilled yet. So we are going to have to run to AutoZone really quick. I really don't have the time to go to AutoZone right now, but I can't drive home on the freeway like that. And I can't, it'll be too late to go anywhere after I get off work. get the zip tie back on here. I do have another melt here and another one there and then there's one on the top that aren't even drilled yet because we ran out of screws and just got them yesterday. So that's what that is about. But then as you saw I'd also just to get the timing adjusted it was really high. I was idling at like two grand and sometimes it would ping up and down and I think it was just bad timing because once I fixed that it, it went away. So we'll We'll try it when I should leave for work, or leave work to go home and see if it starts pinging like that again. But right now it sh it, it's doing better. Finally off work. And this is going to be the first drive on the highway with the, with the back top, half top thing done. And I'm really hoping it's going to help keep most of the cold out. It's warmer in here than it is outside, which is a good sign. But we do still do have a soft top that'll come up and there are some cracks in here so we don't know for sure that 
or I don't know how, exactly how much warmer it's going to keep us, or if it's going to retain any heat, so I have a jacket on anyway, and let's find out. Okay, well, I'm about home, which is about a 40 mile trek for me, and didn't even use the heater once. It did really good, actually. Um, naturally, the heat's on on its own, but just so slightly. So, really, really, really impressed. I'm actually really excited about it. We're home. I've got some lacquer thinner. And you can see I already tested it to make sure it's going to actually work on here. I took some of it off of the back here. We're going to clean up the window because looking at it more, you can see that it's pretty much white. Okay, there we have it. It's not perfect. If you look, you can see some streaks and some specks and stuff, but it's way better than it was. When I first put it on and I first moved it the same night and everything with the paint on it originally, I didn't see it at all. And I was like, oh no, that's not bad. That's not, I don't care as long as I can't see it driving. It's okay. Yeah, driving I can see it and it's a pain in the ass. Okay, so I got that screw in and tightened and I've got that one in. The top one I can't get to with the, with the soft top on there which means it'll make issues with it being on there the way it is anyway. So the top one's not going on. It does flex a little bit, but it's not gonna be an issue. The sides don't flex at all. And these ones won't need to go on either. There's no flex at all up here. So there's an issue with this here because I do have hinges here and here holding that in, but there's still holes. So what I'm going to do is I've got some RTV, just some silicone, and I'm just gonna fill in that gap or attempt to. At the very least, this bottom one here, the big one, this top one, probably as well. Okay, well, that's pretty much that. My RTV here is no good. Um, I had tried it on the inside and the outside. The RTV is just really old and kind of just dried up, so it's not good anymore. So I'll have to get more of that, but I did get those screws in. I got most of the the paint off the glass, or the window, the plexiglass. I'll have to clean it up a little bit better. I drove it and it's still really, it's blurry and then you can tell it's smudgy. And I did clean it up a little bit, you can't, you can't really tell but I try to clean up a little bit of the paint. Not like it matters much, this is all getting painted again anyway. It's all getting painted again anyway. Ooh, it's all over the windshield, or the side and the windshield. That all, that all just wipes off, that's good. That's aimed way too high. Okay, so that's pretty much that. This entire video was vlogged with just using the GoPro, just like how it used to be. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I've already done a little bit of editing of this, and I like it a lot better again, personally. Um, I don't like using the big camera, just so I'm always afraid I'm going to break it. GoPro is convenient, so honestly, seriously, if you're watching it, comment below, let me know what you think. If you want to see more GoPro, or if you like the Canon better, let me know. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, give this a thumbs up. It does help a lot. Share it. That helps a lot as well. Subscribe if you have not and comment what you think about the camera.